All right, uh, on the request of my friend uh, Kelly, I'm going to do a quick chicken kebab. Um, I'm just going to do the first bit this evening. Um, I'm just home from work, I've just uh, cooked a meal and I just want to get this in and get it in the marinade um, so that it's ready to quickly cook tomorrow evening and uh, the longer you marinate it the better it'll taste. All right, okay. Um, so the first thing I've got is I've got 590 grams of uh, chicken breast fillets. I've got some extra virgin olive oil, I've got some parsley, I've got some oregano and I've got uh, the juice of half a lemon. I'll only use half of that lemon. All right, and it's, it's fairly simple. I'll also need some salt and some black pepper and some garlic. All right, let's start chopping things up. So first of all, I'm going to chop up the parsley. Fairly rough, it doesn't, doesn't need to be too fine. So just get that done. Into the bowl, get some lemon juice, the juice of a lemon. A bit white. And a good splash of olive oil, around about the same amount you use of lemon juice. So get that in there. In with your parsley, all very straightforward, and about a teaspoon, just under a teaspoon perhaps of oregano, maybe a little bit more, I do like oregano, and I'm going to go nuts now with the salt and pepper, uh, that's my pepper, I'm very fond of pepper, love black pepper. You know, it's actually good for lifting the flavour of sweet things as well. You want to try black pepper with strawberries, you wouldn't believe it, but it's actually rather good. And about, about half a teaspoon towards a teaspoon of salt. I use um, Himalayan pink salt in that one. And that can slosh around a bit. I need to get some garlic in that. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, um, bad boy, my bad, I had no garlic in the house, so I've had to improvise. I've used half a teaspoon of garlic powder, or granulated garlic you could use in its place. It's going in the marinade, so it won't make an awful lot of difference. Um, so, uh, there's the marinade so far. The next thing we need to do is chop up the chicken and get it all mixed in with air. So I'm just going to chop up the chicken. I'll quickly show you... One normal size fillet like that, I cut off the end like that, so I've got a nice piece of that size, and then straight down the middle of that, and then cut that into two. So that's the lazy cook way, you've now got quickly got seven pieces um, of chicken ready there for your marinade. Okay, and um, these are rather small ones, so I'm just going to half them, half them again, get that in there. Same with that, and that. All roughly the same size. The, the reason we want them all the same size is, is so they cook evenly. Okay, I've just taken out the, the, the inner breast fillet of that and cut that in half. Again, take the tip off, straight down the middle, and then put one two through that. So the nice big fat pens and chunks, they look great on the fat skewers. And then you get in there, get down and dirty. And then all we're going to do now is leave that, mix it in well, make sure it's mixed in really well. Get all the herbs, everything mixed in. Cover that and that can sit in your fridge. Um, that can sit in your fridge. The, the least you want it in there is about four hours. You want the, you want the flavour and the, 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 uh, the, the herbal flavours to penetrate uh, that chicken and the garlic to penetrate it all the way through. So minimum four hours, preferably overnight. And in my case, I'm going to leave it until um, about tomorrow afternoon when I get back from work. So I shall see you then. Okay, quick fast forward to uh, 24 hours later, and here I am. 
um, my chicken's all nicely marinated um, and ready to put on the skewers. Right, skewers. These are nice uh, Turkish style broad uh, and flat skewers. You can uh, buy these online, they're just about available in loads and loads of places, but just look for Turkish style broad skewers, kebab skewers. Uh, the other thing you could use, of course, is these uh, bamboo skewers, which you can get in um, packs from your local supermarket. One thing I would, one caveat I would do with these is soak these in water before you use them. Okay. Um, the reason we do that is, um, of course, so they don't they don't burn during the cooking process. Um, they're quite easy to use. Uh, it's just that you tend to get a bit of travel. Uh, as the the meat can turn around them unless you use two skewers which is rather difficult to do uh, to get right um, so I tend to I tend to use these flat skewers I'm going to cook my kebabs today on a on a, a conventional broiler or grill uh, oven grill um, but you can of course skewer these and cook them either in a tandoori oven or you can cook them on your uh, on your garden grill or smoker or or um, or on your barbecue so first thing we're going to do now is get on with skewering some um, some of the meat now there are two types of kebabs you can make with this and one of them is a standard uh, standard ordinary chicken kebab uh, breast meat kebab which by which you know we simply just start skewering the meat straight onto the skewers uh, you can oil the skewers in advance if you feel the need to do that I don't usually do that myself um, or the other or the other method we can use is to is to do what we call a shazlik kebab a shazlik kebab is where you've got something like a pepper um, normally a red pepper which we can quickly press into service. You've seen, if you want to see how to do all this prep, um, I've got videos on my channel that shows you how to do things really quickly, saves you time, um, and you get to nice bits like that, which you can use very simply and very quickly. So there we go. Nice, easy cut pieces of uh, pepper likewise with an onion remember we top it we tail it we halve it and then it's really simple to grab a bit of the edge peel off the papery bits that we don't want to eat and use a nice bit of beautiful onion same with that piece very quick very easy if you want to find the easy way to do a job, give it to a lazy man. And there we go, we've got some nice pieces that we can now use. That piece I'll put aside and we'll put the finished skewers onto a plate. So, uh, also got tomatoes to dress the ends. So you might want to start, for instance, um, with a bit of onion. This is for the shazlik kebabs. So a typical shazlik kebab will be mixed with onions, pepper, meat. You can do it any way you like. You can add um, more or less. It's up to you how you do it. And you take the marinated meat and skewer it interspersed with the vegetables. And what I did before is um, I measured how they fit in my grill and I can actually come right up to about here with these but don't have them too tight together touching is fine but not tightly compressed if you know what I mean so and we put those on the skewer and you see the pieces are roughly the same size as the pieces of chicken we're putting on here and on but not too tight you see where we're going with that and then again some more pieces some chicken and some pepper 
Let's spread them along like that. Make sure you measure it so you know where on the kebab you want your meat because you, if you push these right into the back of your oven or wherever you want it, it depends, you might have them over a, over a, a garden grill and you might just want a bit of overhang uh, and you might want a longer handle because it's, it's a very hot grill so you, you work that out for yourself, I'm not here to do that for you. Okay, right, there we go and I think we'll get perhaps one more piece on there and then we'll stick a tomato on the end of that shall we? I'll take one with that hand because I don't want to get my chickeny fingers in my fresh tomatoes and then that goes on the end like that and we'll fast forward to having all my skewers done so like I said we fast forward to the uh, end so we've got four beautiful chicken uh, shazlik kebabs there made with chicken breast this time and um, all I did with the leftover pieces of um, vegetable is I put them on a single skewer I'll just uh, drizzle a bit of olive oil on that just before it goes under the grill and then um, I'll show you when it's all done Okay, just a quick one. I've got my um, skewers all ready to go. Um, as I said before, I've got uh, just just uh, some garnishes of quickly chopped up. I've chopped up half a lemon, some chunky slices of cucumber, uh, some halves of, of um, the little tomatoes, uh, some roughly broken up basil leaves, and some parsley just as a garnish you know just to make it look all nice and we'll probably serve that with some saffron rice and I'll um, you can sit you can find the saffron rice uh, in uh, uh, down below in uh, among um, among my um, previous videos so look those up and um, check it out okay I'm just gonna make my saffron rice the way we made it before in the videos down below if you look up saffron you'll see it or saffron rice this is the quick version the restaurant version so I'm adding some of my saffron water to about a third or a quarter of the rice that was in the quick microwave rice um, portion I'm using basmati rice with this and oh the smell from that is gorgeous as the saffron rises up that's really really nice and then that just literally just mix it in and you get that lovely contrast between the lovely sunset yellow saffron rice and the ordinary white basmati rice and we'll show you that plated up in a minute All right, um, I've got some lovely saffron rice on the plate. I've got some coleslaw, some cucumber, uh, some garnished uh, tomato halves, and uh, uh, a wedge of lemon for serving. And we'll just take that front bit off there. Whenever you're getting kebabs, just pull back before you push forward, and then you'll find it comes off easily. And pull, hold your think hand where it is, and pull the skewer much easier and because this is for my brother and because he's hungry as a wolf we'll do that again and slide that off like that all he's going to need now is a spoon of the homemade chilli sauce the chilli kebab sauce that's down below you'll be able to find that and we'll put that over the top and as you can see I've used it all up in no time we love that sauce and that's going to the table like that so here we have a chicken shazlik kebab enjoy that Kelly I'm sure you will cheers mate <laughs>